Um, my name is Suzanne Hardy and I work at Newcastle University in the northeast of England in the School of Medical Sciences Education Development and also um, for the next few months 70% of my time with the Quality in Learning and Teaching Unit. Um, Phil Barker asked me if I would do a session. <laughs> So, um, so okay, but I've, I've been to several CITES conferences in the past and I always find them really useful. Well, what I always look for is an, one new idea that I can take back to the office um, and think I've got one. So that's, that's a result. Formulating. It's, it's brewing in the back of my mind, yes. <laughs> Um, yesterday I was in the OER and sustainability session and I was talking about um, what's happened at my host institution Newcastle since the three years of UK OER funding finished and um, where OER is within our own institution which is interesting because um, we don't really have OER at Newcastle. Um, I was working for the Higher Education Academy Subject Centre for Medicine, Dentistry and Veterinary Medicine before and we were much more outwardly focused um, and so I could give a much better idea of what's happening nationally in medicine, dentistry and veterinary medicine than I actually can in my own institution but I think that's going to change in the next few months. I think the biggest take home message for me was that, um, that the sustainability of the community that was built up around the UK OAR programme um, as we go further and further away from that fund and haven't finished, um, the community is dwindling, there's less discussion taking place and I find that really quite sad really. I think the thing that I value about CITES is that they have a really good international perspective on what's happening in the world of um, learner technology, not just in interoperability standards, but in learner technology in general. And I find that overview really useful. And CITES is a great place to refer to to get to get that that overview, because working in an institution and on the day-to-day -day job. A, it's very difficult to keep up with what's happening everywhere and so it's really useful to have an organisation that kind of distills all of that down and, and makes it more accessible and kind of quick bite sized chunks of information that you can pick up in, in your coffee break or whatever. So I, I find that quite useful.